If somebody stops me in the street and asks for what I do, I say I'm a basic scientist studying the fundamental mechanisms by which cells in our bodies work and trying to connect that information to understanding disease and maybe coming up with new possibilities for new medicines. In a human body, there are many thousands of trillions of cells and each cell has DNA. That's the genetic blueprint that makes us what we are. And it turns out that every cell in the human body, this DNA is being damaged all the time. Every cell has thousands of damages per day. And that obviously is a major problem for life, not just humans, but all life on Earth. So what do we do? Well, over the course of evolution, our cells have evolved ways to detect the DNA damage and repair it. And what my lab does is try and figure out those mechanisms and try and understand how when they go wrong, that can lead to disease such as cancer. Like um, in many cases in science, the biggest discoveries are ones that you weren't even really looking for. You didn't know that you were looking for that answer. And in my case, it was a chance occurrence that changed my whole career. I knew I was working on something interesting and important because it hadn't been studied before. At the biochemical level, I had come across a protein kinase that we call DNAPK. Now, protein kinases regulate other proteins inside the cell by attaching phosphate groups to them. We discovered that DNAPK was actually activated not just by DNA, but by DNA breaks. So the DNA double helix needs to be broken in order to activate DNAPK. So after a short period of time, this we realized was a eureka moment because it was saying that DNAPK was probably not involved in transcription. It was responding to broken DNA and the light went on in my head. It was saying this is part of a DNA repair machinery perhaps. And so basically on that chance observation, DNA PK, double strand breaks, DNA repair, my whole lab changed its direction and has evolved into the lab uh, that I have now. Over the last 20 years, we've identified other DNA repair proteins and have connected DNA repair to many other areas of biology and have also connected it to human disease and medicine. Well, I've always considered myself to be an academic at heart, and I am still, but I guess I've always had this entrepreneurial spirit, uh, and at the back of my mind has always been this issue that if I can find a way of translating my basic science towards medical applications, that's something I wanted to do. And realizing uh, that we had these insights into DNA repair, the penny dropped. But for me, the real benefit of doing what I've done so far, and hopefully we'll be able to do again in the future, is knowing that this basic science that's been carried out in my lab is making a real difference. It's extending and enhancing the lives of real patients out there in the world. So scientists such as myself tend not to think about scientific prizes very often. Uh, we tend to focus on doing our science uh, because that's where the passion comes from. When one gets a prize, you know that you've received recognition and the people in your lab, their work has received recognition by your peers. In this case, uh, the committee um, based in the uh, Royal Dutch Academy of Arts and Sciences. So receiving the Heineken Prize is, is a fantastic, momentous event for me. It's a fantastic badge that I'll wear for the rest of my career. And I think everybody in my lab is so excited and honored uh, to be associated with this.